Hi guys, this is Susie and thank you once again for tuning in. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, we will be delving into the reading of the word once again. And we are on day 51. We will be reading Psalms 101 and 102. But before we go to the Lord, may we invite Him in our reading once again the word of god is alive reading uh, the word of god is alive living and active sharper than any double-edged sword that it penetrates even through dividing soul and spirit joints and marrow it judges the thoughts and the attitudes of our hearts so may we go to the Lord in prayer. Lord Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we can praise you and we can honor you and we can give you all the praises and the thanksgiving you deserve because you are truly an awesome God. Thank you, Lord. May we invite you once again in the reading of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope you have your word and may you read with me. Psalms 101 I will sing of your love and justice. To you, O Lord, I will sing praise. I will be careful to lead a blameless life. When will you come to me? I will walk in my house with blameless heart. I will set before my eyes no vile thing. The deeds of faithless men I hate. They will not cling to me. Men of perverse heart shall be far from me. I will have nothing to do with evil. Whoever slanders his neighbor in secret him will I put no silence, will I put to silence. Whoever has haughty eyes and a proud heart, him will I not endure. My eyes will be on the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He whose walk is blameless will minister to me. No one who practices deceit will dwell in my house no one who speaks falsely will stand in my presence every morning i will put to silence all the wicked in the land i will cut off every evil doer from the city of the lord psalms 102 Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me when I am in distress. Turn your ear to me when I call. Answer me quickly. For my days vanish like smoke. My bones burn like glowing embers. My heart is blighted and withered like grass. I forget to eat my food because of my loud groaning. I am reduced to skin and bones. I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. I like awake, I lie awake. I have become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long my enemies taunt me. Those who trail against me use my name as a curse. For I eat ashes as my food and mingle, mingle my drink with tears because of your great wrath. For you have taken me up and thrown me aside. My days are like the evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O oh Lord, sit enthroned forever. Your renown endures through all generations. 
you will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come, for her stones are dear to your servants. Her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere your glory, for the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he viewed the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners and release those condemned to death. So the name of the Lord will be declared in Zion to his praise and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples of the kingdoms assembled to worship the Lord, in the course of my life he broke my strength. He cut short my days. So I said, Do not take me away, O my God, in the midst of my days. Your years go on through all generations. In the beginning you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish but you remain, they will all wear out like a garment, like a clothing, you will change them, and they will be discarded, but you remain the same, and your years will never end, the children of your servants will live in your presence, their descendants will be established before you. Thank you, Lord, for the reading of your word. Thank you, dear God, that no matter what goes on, Lord, I will praise you with an upright heart. I will declare your name to everyone and say, I am a follower of Jesus. And because I am a follower of Jesus, that they may see something different in me, that I will continue, Lord, to act justly, that I will continue, Father God, Lord, to walk humbly, and Lord, to love mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. It is very hot where I am right now, and I pray to the Lord that everyone will have a beautiful day, and that you will all praise the Lord and grant success because the Lord loves you. I love you guys. May you continue to walk faithfully and may you continue to, to believe in Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I love you. May you like and subscribe. See you again next episode.